Oh, hey there. As you can clearly tell, we are done for now on this house. Now, I'm gonna give you a tour in just a second, and it's gonna be amazing. You're gonna be like, I wanna buy that house, and I'll let you if you have money, or if you can borrow money, and I've got a good lender. Now, I wanna tell you a quick story about the Good Samaritan. And you hear this a lot, but maybe you don't know the whole story. So I wanna tell you real quick. Basically, somebody said, Jesus said, love your neighbors yourself. And then somebody, a Pharisee, so a churchy person, goes, well, who's my neighbor? And he goes, all right, let me tell you a story. And then he told the story of the Good Samaritan. He said, a man was going down the path, and then robbers came out, and they beat him bloody. They took everything he had, and they left him naked to die. A bloody mess to die. On the road. It wasn't a busy road. Not as busy as this road. Then, a Levite comes by, okay? Sees him on the road and goes, nope. And comes away and keeps on going. Pretends like, I don't see anything. I'm not going to get involved with that mess. No thanks. I'm better than that. I'm clean. Then, uh, a Pharisee comes by, right? And he does basically the same thing. He's like, la di da Ooh. Nope, I'm not gonna help that guy because I don't wanna be unclean. I got stuff to do. I'm gonna leave him here. And he left him. And he went on his way and didn't say a word. He might have gone home and said, poof, I saw this guy all beat up and bloody. They took everything he had. He was naked on the side of the road. Did you stop and help? No, good for you. That might have been the conversation. We don't know. But then a Samaritan comes by, and let me tell you what's, a, what's significant about a Samaritan, okay? Imagine that Israel is like, we are pure, we are all Jews, and then other countries came in and married Israelites, and then those people had half Jew, half Gentile, and those people lived in Samaria, and they were Samaritans. And let me tell you what the Jews thought of them. They hated them. They were like, you're dirty people. You are the children of people that we should not be with. We don't like you, we got nothing good to say about you, at all. And they were like, we're good people. They're like, no, you're not. Samaritan walks by, turns the corner and goes, oh no. He doesn't hesitate. He helps the man, makes sure he's okay, doctors his wounds, does first aid if you will, puts him on his own animal, donkey, mule, horse, whatever it may be, takes him to the next town. He takes him to an inn where he is known we're assuming he's some type of a businessman. And he says, take care of this guy. I have to go. Here's enough money. Here's more than enough money. I think this is what it should cost to heal him up. If it costs more, you know, I'll be back through. When I come back through, I'll cover it. Make sure this guy's taken care of. It's the right thing to do. He got beaten up and robbed and bloody and he's going to die. So take care of him. Took no credit. Didn't go around boasting about it. Didn't go around telling anybody about it. Didn't post it on Facebook. He just went and he saw that somebody was hurt. And he went to help that person. Even though he was looked down upon like, you are not a holy person. You are not a good person. You are not a church person. And yet he was the only one who stopped and helped the man. And Jesus told that story and he said, now which one of these was a neighbor to this man? There's no denying it. The Samaritan was. We all know the story. The Samaritan was the, was the neighbor. And he goes, go and do the same. Go and do the same. Go and be that to other people. Don't go around going, ah, oh, this technically is my neighbor because there's three doors down. My neighbor's right next to me on either side. I'll be nice to them. I'll love them as myself. If you see somebody in need, you help that person. That's what you do. I love you guys. Have a good day.